Petitions containing the names of 400,000 people who are calling on Congress to move toward making debt-free college a possibility were delivered to members of Congress who are backing a resolution in support of that idea. Campaign for America's Future was among the organizations helping to drum up support for the resolution, which is endorsed by more than 70 members of Congress. <laughs> Senator Brian Schatz, Democrat of Hawaii, noted that the total college debt borne by graduates today is well in excess of $1 trillion. And here's the human economic impact. Almost 50% of students say that their student loans are increasing their risk of defaulting on other bills. And 45% of graduates aged 24 and under are living back at home. The cost of college has an enormous impact on our middle class and on our national economic <laughs> prospects. This is a national issue, and all of you know that. These costs discourage people from going to college at all. And if we're serious about wanting people to pursue higher education, we can't put them on the brink of bankruptcy every time they graduate. This ought to be an issue for this Congress, for next Congress, and this coming election. We used to be first in the world at the number of people who went to college. Now we're seventh going down to 12. It's not because we don't have good universities and colleges and community colleges, we do. It's not because we don't have well-qualified people, we do. It's because it costs so darn much. Maya Hall, a junior at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, shared her all too typical story about student debt. Well, I have only completed two years of college this far. I have bought far over $30,000 in student loans. When I graduate, that number will be about $90,000. Despite taking out this high level of debt, I'm currently struggling to register for my next semester of college as I still have $1,000 of unmet loans, of unmet needs that I cannot cover with federal aid. I have turned to my family and friends um, for help via fundraiser because the federal government's aid has not been enough and the federal government's aid has failed me. The feelings of stress while searching for funding and borrowing loans uh, is comparable to wearing an unexpellable anchor. It is a burden that I feel incessantly, and, um, but I know that I am not alone in feeling this burden. Student debt is a national issue, but the um, realities for groups that are disproportionately affected by student debt are even more concerning. In 2013, 42% of black families had student loans compared to 28% of white families. Furthermore, according to research by Demos, less than two-thirds of white graduates um, borrowed loans from public schools, whereas over four and five black graduates borrowed loans from public universities. Debt-free college is a critical component um, of educational justice and is inextricably linked to the racial justice and socioeconomic justice issues I outlined above. To Maryland, Baltimore Duncan County. Robinson is okay. a student at the uh, University of Maryland's Baltimore uh, Campus. He says that student debt is threatening to put a ceiling on his How ambitions. is student debt affecting you? Yeah, so right, my major is uh, biology, a uh, bachelor of science, and um, uh, the problem with this debt is that it is deterring me from trying to pursue um, higher education such as master's program, post-baccalaureate, or doctorate programs, which uh, cost even more money. And um, it is, it's really hard nowadays to find like a, a decent paying job to start paying off that debt with just a bachelor's. How much debt do you have? I have about $25,000. When I finish my final semester this fall, I will have approximately $25,000 in debt and student loans. And you're hopeless that you would you would go on to a master's degree, but you simply can't afford it. That is correct. If we are serious in this American dream, like being number one, this is American exceptionalism in like science, mathematics, education, quality of life, then then to um and if we're gonna like sell like uh, these dreams, like if you go to college, you can be whatever you want to be. It's the best way to go into the middle class and to stay there and for the upward mobility, like. That's not possible if once you graduate, you have to spend like years upon years trying to pay off that debt, being only being able to do like retail. Because I hear that's what a lot of my peers who have graduated with bachelors, that's the only thing they could do. Those were the only jobs they could find. And when you have that, you just, and we have this, these interest rates, and this, you just get into this, it's just this endless cycle that you're just not able to just pay off and then you're just stuck. And like when you're able 
and when you're finally able to um if you're able to break through and try to get pay off finally pay off those student loans then at that point it's, it's probably too late several members of congress underscored the importance of congress moving forward with a plan to make college debt free my family had a lot of economic ups and downs. My dad ended up as a janitor. My mom worked a minimum wage job at Sears. College was not in the cart for a kid like me. I got a scholarship. Then I got married at 19. I dropped out of school. I bounced around. And then, thank you, Lord, I ended up 30 miles away from state school that charged $50 a semester. And that's how I got a college degree. <coughs> I grew up in an America that was investing in kids like me. And that's how it is that the daughter of a janitor can end up in the United States Senate. We make those investments together. I am here to say I believe in that America and I will fight for that America at free college. College is free in Germany and many other countries in this world. You can't tell me that the richest country in the world, the richest country in the history of the world, at its richest point, as a matter of fact, American GDP per capita is higher than ever. You can't tell me we cannot afford to do this. Right. It's simply a question of political will. And politicians see the light when they feel the heat. <laughs> <laughs> and those boxes, those 400,000 signatures is heated up. And I want to tell you that we're going to have to keep on industry, making this the issue, the opportunity issue of this uh, next period here. And to learn more about this movement to make college debt free and for forgiveness of students with current college debt, go to IamAStudentDebtVoter.com. This is Isaiah J. Poole for OurFuture.org.